What do you do when you're only inches away from learning a split but can't quite get it? In this video I will give you a couple of practical tips that will help you to achieve this goal. Alright, so first up is a tip I've given in a couple of videos so far, which is stretch in different angles. So instead of just trying to drop down into a side split like so, you rather should try to move forward a little bit and move backwards, move to the side and so on in order to get the biggest range of motion possible. The next tip that I'm going to give you is to use some different stretching techniques. So instead of doing static stretches only where you're going into a position and don't leave that position for a while, you could also try to do some dynamic stretches, so where you're swinging your leg back and forward, I have videos on that. Or you could also do isometric stretching where you contract your muscles in a particular position. So for example, if you're into a, almost into a split and you're pretty strong as well, you can contract your muscles in this, in this position and that will strengthen your muscles in this position, which eventually will allow your muscles to allow you to do a side split, for example. Now, you should combine this with the next tip, which is strengthen your muscles in the particular position that you need. So, for example, when you are stretching your inner thighs or when you are strengthening your inner thigh muscles to do a side split, you could do some deep squats, some sumo squats like this. Or you can also do regular squats, try to do some lighter weight so that will allow you to go down as far as you can. So you will get the complete range of motion rather than using a lot of weight and only going down halfway. And if it comes to doing exercises for the front split, you can do so, some Bulgarian split squats. I will demonstrate it right now. Another tip is to warm up properly. I don't think I need to go into depth with this one, other than that you should do some dynamic stretching, so swinging your legs back and forward to also stretch your muscles in a more active way as well as warm them up at the same time. And that brings me to the next tip, which is that you shouldn't stretch as far as you can. Now, I know it might be tempting that if you are almost into a side split, you are pushing and pushing until you can actually get into the side split. However, that's not really that effective. In fact, it's counterproductive. Switch up your routine. Your body will get used to doing the same exercises, the same sets and reps all the time. And therefore it is more effective if you are switching up things every now and then and perhaps throw in some yoga poses or doing more sets with shorter reps or less, less seconds that you hold a position, stuff like that. As you may have seen when I did try to do a front split, because my front splits really aren't that good, is that I am balancing my body on my hands, or actually I'm assisting myself with my hands, because otherwise if I don't, then the tension on my muscles will be way too high, and the same goes of course for side splits in whatever, re whatever way you want to do them. It's best just to support yourself with your body rather than letting it go and having all that weight on your muscles and your tendons. Finally, do some form of stretching or flexibility training throughout the day. So don't only train in the afternoon or only in the morning, rather take some small exercises that you would like to do throughout the day, such as when you are brushing your teeth or when you are watching TV. Now for more information on how to do a side split, in where I also talk about the hip positioning that's very important and why most people can do a split. You can check out the 45 minute flexibility course that I made on my YouTube channel. Of course it's free, I will leave the link in the description as well as in the end of this video. That's it for this video, thank you for watching, subscribe for more and I will see you next time.